क्वेश्चन दे आर सेइंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ मोस्ट एफिशिएंट टू परफॉर्म अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशंस ऑन नंबर्स एंड दैट आंसर इज वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड हियर यू डोंट हैव टू कैलकुलेट द आंसर दैट इज अ टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट बट लेट मी टेल यू अ रीजन व्हाई द टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज द मोस्ट यू नो एफिशिएंट ऑपरेशन देयर आर मल्टीपल रीजंस नंबर 1 इज व्हाई वी एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट is we have a circuit if for example this is a circuit and we want to perform some addition so this is a adder circuit and we can have one more circuit which is a subtractor circuit now if you want to add two numbers then we have to give x and y to this circuit and we want to get x plus y and for subtractor circuit if we can give x and y then it should give x minus y but instead of this can we do something like this in an addition circuit or in an adder circuit if we give x and minus of y then it should give x plus of minus y which is again equivalent to x minus y okay and this is how we can easily implement a subtraction operation just by using an addition circuit or just by using an adder operation now for this purposes we have uh, numbers which are positive as well as which are negative and there are three ways of representing the positive and the negative numbers number 1 is the sign mag magnitude representation sign magnitude representation number 2 is ones complement representation and number 3 is twos complement representation twos complement representation okay so when we discuss about the sign magnitude representation that means to represent a positive number we are going to uh, have zero in the most significant bit and to represent a negative number we are going to have one in the most significant bit for example if we have a number like this 00001101 now here in this number we have the most sig significant bit which is this one now if the most significant bit is zero that means it is a positive number and rest this complete number is representing a number which is 13 therefore it is representing plus 13 now what if we want to represent minus 13 to represent minus 13 we are going to have 1 and then 0 0 and here in the most significant bit we have a 1 therefore this is representing minus 13 but the problem with this number system the sign magnitude representation is that if we take some combination of bits then we represent one combination less for example if we have a two bit combination so they can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 we can have a three bit combination that is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 
and that one more number system is a once complement representation and what exactly is once complement representation is that to represent a negative counterpart of any number we are going to take a once complement of that for example if we have a number 0 0 1 now this number is representing plus 1 but if you want to represent minus 1 then we have to take once complement of this number and the once complement will be 1 1 0 okay in the same way if we have a number which is 0 1 0 it is representing plus 2 and the negative counterpart of this number will be 1 0 1 which is representing minus 2 in the same way if you have a number which is uh, 0 1 1 then this is representing plus 3 then the negative counterpart is 1 0 0 which is representing minus 3 in the same way if we have 0 0 0 which is representing plus 0 then the negative counterpart is 1 1 1 which is representing minus 1 right so you can see it is kind of a mirror image of each other right so like if you have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so these numbers are representing plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is representing minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and minus 0 and still here in this case also we are wasting one combination to represent plus 0 as well as minus 0 right so if you give these numbers to this adder then it should perform subtraction that is the main idea behind this but you can see to represent one symbol single number we are representing two different we are wasting two combinations but when we discuss about two's complement representation for two's complement representation uh, we have to find the one's complement and then we have to add one on that or there are more, more than one ways to represent two's complements so it doesn't matter so but still i am representing like this if this is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 and what is the two's complement of 0 0 0 and here i am representing the two's complement you can find find out the two's complement so it is 1 0 0 0 what is the two's complement of this number that is 1 1 1 two's complement of this number is 1 1 0 two's complement of this number is 1 0 0 right and so on so if this number is representing 0 this is representing 1 this is 2 this is 3 then this number is actually representing uh, this is 1 0 0 right so if we have 0 1 1 then the ones complement is 1 0 0 plus 1 that is 1 0 1 so it's 1 0 1 here okay and uh, if we have uh, 0 1 0 then ones complement is 1 0 1 and two's complement is plus 1 that becomes 1 1 0 so this is this 1 1 0 is representing minus 2 okay so this is 1 1 0 is representing minus 2 this is representing minus 3 this is representing minus 4 and this is representing minus 1 now here you can clearly see that we are not wasting one combination for plus 0 as well as for minus 0 okay not for, for, for plus 0 as well as for minus 0 therefore if we have a number which is having n if you have a binary uh, combination which is having n bits now with the help of these n bits the maximum number we can show is minus 2 raised to power n minus 1 and the maximum number that we can show is plus 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 so we can have one more extra combination with that and in the arithmetic operations we can have one more extra combination the same a kind of logic is also valid for nines complement for a base 10 decimal number therefore you can see one's complement uh, sine magnitude and two's com nines complement they are not as efficient as two's complement so we generally use two's complement number as a most arithmetic number system for uh, performing arithmetic operations okay you can say most efficient to perform arithmetic operations there are several reasons behind this but i feel this is the best reason i can give from my side if you have another reason why it is uh, the best number system you can just comment uh, in the comment section so that other students can get to know better and uh, you can uh, please other students i request you please check the comments if there's some uh, mistake in the videos you can obviously correct it and if, if there's any suggestions you can obviously 
गिव दैट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच लेट अस लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट